my fault. What was your fault? A few weeks ago, um, <clears throat> I got an email telling me I'd been nominated for an award. Outstanding service to the NHS. It told me to um, click this link, um, sign into a portal, and um, answer a few questions. So, um, I did. When the computers first went down this morning, um, I heard uh, Mrs. Beecham say that it was because a member of staff had entered their portal login on a bogus website. People nearly died, Mr. Hanson, and it's a miracle that no one did, and it was all because I needed to feel special. Or, uh, I don't know, valued. So you've handed in your notice? Yes. What have I told you that the whole business with the computers started at St. James's? And the virus migrated to our system via shared local authority software. So, uh, it wasn't my fault? No. Does that mean that you were nominated for an outstanding contribution award? Yes. Are you sure? I am. I distinctly remember making the nomination. No. I'll dispose of this for you, shall I? See you tomorrow, no? Yeah. <sighs> See you tomorrow, Mr. Hanson. I look at the rotor. I've signed you off sick for a week. Thank you. I've also cancelled all of your overtime. That's not necessary. It is. I didn't get a chance to say goodbye to Raph. But if I had, I know you would have told me to keep an eye on you. To make sure you're all right. I'm fine. You're working yourself into the ground. I've seen how many shifts you signed yourself up for. We're short-staffed. I just want to help. That's not the reason. It's how you cope with stuff. Raph died and you threw yourself into work. Like all the stuff with Gaskell and you've worked even harder. You then got cancer and you've come back and you signed yourself up for every shift going. I get it. I do. But you can't keep going like this. You need some balance in your life. You need something more than this place. I saw Becca. How is she? She's fine. She wanted me to give you that. Sorry, I had to take Becca to the orthopedics and they needed someone to assist with her surgery. Yes, I got your message. How is she? She's fine. She's awake. Good. Seems like you were quite the hero. Yes, well... Of course, there's more than one way to be a hero. Yes, it's a mess. No, it's not what anyone would want for their 14-year-old granddaughter, but it is what it is. So go in there tell her that you love her and that you support her and that everything will be okay. I didn't react very well. No, not from the sounds of it. You didn't, but it's not me you have to apologise to. So 
the system update seems to have resolved the computer problems, but there'll be a full analysis, of course. We may have to do some future proofing to avoid anything like this happening again. Well, the costs wouldn't be astronomical. Well, it could have been much higher. Two of our colleagues owe you a debt of gratitude, as do those of us who care about oh. them. So I wanted to thank you for coming in today. That's really after really No, it needs to be said. Your tenacity, resilience, dedication. You really are unstoppable. Shouldn't you be in there with her? I don't think she wants me around right now. She, she doesn't still think it wasn't um, an overdose, does she? No. No, she knows he did it. It's just... It's a lot to take in. incredibly stupid it was not to let them check you over properly after the crash. If it hadn't literally fallen over you. I love you too. I'm going to go home and pack a bag. You're going to need some clothes. Knock, knock. You're a visitor. <laughs> Sasha, I told you to stay still. You'll rupture your sutures. Stop. Why do we even bother? Stop nagging me. Tell her. Come on, leave her alone. I'm so, so sorry. I know. And listen, whatever you want to do about the, the baby. I'm not pregnant, Dad. The test was for a friend. I don't want to overshare. But there is literally no way it could have been for me. Really? Yeah. So you and oh, so that Flynn, you're not going back together? Finn. And no. We met up when he got back from Bolivia and he was all, I've made a terrible mistake. I want to get back with you. But I told him to jog on, so. Oh, that's good. Really, really good. Well, one crisis down, one still to go. Crisis suggests a short lived state of affairs, and given the way these things keep rolling one into another, I'm not sure we can really refer to them in those terms anymore. Okay. So, how do you propose to refer to the state of things? Oh, I don't know. 
Tuesday.